Nate, you are the commercial carpet winner. Your Bardavon uh, theater project is really awesome. Let's talk about it. But thanks for being here. You're very welcome. Tell me how this project landed in your lap. How did this Yeah, so uh, I, I certified a gentleman in Green Bay, uh, Patrick Casey, who I call Patrick Swayze just because I can. And uh, But Patrick called me and said, I have a guy who wants me to come out and do a big commercial project. Um, and as a theater, and I know that you travel around and do theaters, and I have four tiny kids, I think he has five kids now, um, at home, and I just can't leave the wife. So he sends my name and number to the Palazzo Brothers, uh, Palazzo Floor Covering, and they call me like a minute later, like I hang up, I just get back to work, and dang, my phone's ringing again, and it's them. Um, Hey, you know, so I'm going back and forth. Then Patrick calls. Did he did he call you? And I'm like, I'm still on the phone with him. You know, quit bugging me. You know? uh, between all of that, I end up with a job and a couple of things. I wanted him to go over, like receiving the carpet because it's spray. It's a top dyed carpet, oh, which cool. has a lot of unique problems. They make the carpet and then they paint the pattern on in two separate processes. And it's uh, sometimes difficult to because the rows of the yarns are painted after it's constructed and they don't follow the pattern in any way. They, they kind of do sometimes, they kind of don't, and it comes on and it goes off and it comes on and goes off. And it's just a, uh, it's a technical difficulty. So I wanted him to check that pattern before he signed off and said, oh sure, this carpet is fine, we accept it. I get there and it's got a two and a half inch skew, which is one edge is ahead of the other by two and a half inches. And it is 15 foot wide goods, but still two and a half inches is a lot. So if you take a piece from one side and you have to end match the piece from the other side, it's going to be a giant wedge of missing carpet. If you cut it on the pattern, there's this space and I made it match. How much did you put in? Uh, 800 yards. And I got it done in 10 days. And I had a guy who, he was the guy who spread all the glue for the wood jobs that they did, which they occasionally did wood glue down jobs. So he knew how, kind of how to spread glue. And that was all his qualifications to be a carpet installer. And so he and I did everything. And I actually had to show him a few tricks of, of that I've picked up over the years about spreading glue and what I, what I expected him to do with the trowel and stuff. And he actually picked it up pretty quick and he was a good a good aid in covering the floor with glue, which is the whole floor has to get covered with glue. So that was kind of a big deal. Well, and it was a very elegant pattern and I can see how challenging that would be though. It's basically just a bunch of curly cues. And so they had a breakout session at convention this year about top dyed carpet. Uh, and the first thing he said is if you've got curling swirly patterns, that is the most difficult one. <laughs> like, Testify, brother. Testify, you know. What I liked most about it is you were able to just do the same pattern throughout. There was no, you know, I love that kind of seamless look throughout the whole thing. You know, it went down through the chairs to the stage and then obviously throughout the, you know, the rest of it through to the box office. And I don't know. Yeah. It was just cool. Was yeah. Cool. So um, th that box office area was maybe six to eight inches higher and there was a very steep really? ramp there was once an exterior wall had been removed and they just kind of ramped up to what was the old ticket booth and that became a little it was a little offshoot um, by the entranceway there and you can kind of see the ramp in the floor in one of the pictures but that kind of that's where you kind of test the flexibility of carpet you know, where I'm going to try and go up this ramp and I'm going to try and make it look like it's all still matching and tied in with the wall somehow. Uh, you know, that, that's really, uh, it's it's kind of magic. Well, what, you know, one thing I guess that kind of the common thread for um, all of these projects is really the skill that's required to, you know, do these installations. I mean, clearly there's a lot required whenever the pattern is off and, and, you also have to install up a ramp. <laughs> right. Well, actually, that entire lobby area is um, high at the walls and low in the center. They called it a half pipe. And they actually poured a floor in there. Palazzo Brothers poured a floor in there for me. So it was a brand new surface. 
which is both good and bad because um, it also would drag a lot of the moisture out of the glue. So I had to work a little bit faster putting going over a fresh surface. But the fact that it was kind of a half pipe, there's uh, two and a half drops across the lobby and um, the edges, uh, the walls were a slightly different elevation. But again, you know, trying to make it look like it's flat. All right. So tell me, you know, what is it about the uh, installation awards like that makes you want to enter this project? I normally don't put myself out there. I don't uh, I don't need accolades. I just need to do my job. I get the check and that's enough. I don't really have to, you know, ha have people, you know, uh, the public recognition, whatever. Are you the enchanted florist? Can I have your autograph? You know, I, so and this year I actually went in. Uh, competed in the installer of the year regional competition in Chicago, which is way above and beyond for me. But I, they were calling for people to go. And Kevin Keefe is a friend of mine. He kind of just said, you're doing it. You don't have a choice, Nate. It's in Chicago. You can just drive down there, do this job and, you know, win or lose, just accept it, you know, but I, I have high hopes. He thought I was just going to walk in there and waltz through it and win. Um, I did too. Actually, I thought I was just going to go down there and just crush everybody. Uh, I went down there and the guy at the module next to me, um, he was actually bringing in his stretcher and I hadn't even cut up my carpet yet. And I, I just panicked and I just started cutting up carpet wrong and had to seam a bunch of stuff back together that the piece the contest piece required five pieces of carpet seamed together and stretched in. I had 11. <laughs> so um, panicking is not good. Uh, right. And I probably shouldn't have panicked. And I did. And it cost me. I'd lost the, I lost the competition because when you have an eight by eight and it's got a lot of extra seam tape, it doesn't stretch quite the same as regular piece of carpet that's not like half seam tape you know so um yeah i totally dropped the ball on it on the competition but anyway so that got me kind of open to the fact that you know i could probably put some of my stuff out there and when i saw the contest on facebook i just went through and it the last big project i had a bunch of pictures i'm like well i'm just gonna put those pictures in there and i'm just gonna it was really a spur of the moment thing and I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. Well, is there anything, anyone you'd like to thank or anything else you'd like to say about your project? Well, I'd like to thank Patrick Swayze and I'd like to, <laughs> and I, I'd like to thank the Palazzo brothers and Palazzo floor covering for even getting me in the door to do this, you know, fantastic project. And I'd also like to thank you for posting online so I could find the project to make the entry to get the house that Jack built, you know? My wife, who held down the fort here uh, while I was uh, cross country doing the job, that is uh, immeasurable. You know that kind of support. I really appreciate you being here. It is an awesome project. Obviously, a very unique one. So thank you for submitting. I hope you try again next year, and hopefully you're very welcome. Um, hopefully, I will see you at Tice. I will be there. Mm -hmm.